The 50th anniversary of Earth Day is next week. Before we start on our project, I want to show you this beautiful new book, The Boy Who Spoke to the Earth. Chris Burkhardt is a photographer and has traveled the earth, photographing many beautiful things and places in the world. The book is also about a boy that travels the earth, asking lots of questions and searching. The earth asks if the boy actually saw what he was looking at. Just like us sometimes when we're too busy to stop and see what's all around us. This is an important reminder about Earth Day. The illustrations are beautiful in this book. Finally, the boy truly sees happiness all around. Today we're going to draw and paint the world without actually using paint. You can use any paper to draw on. I did this one on old magazine paper. So right now I'm gonna use white thickish paper, a circle tracer you need, a pencil maybe, and washable markers. I have two shades of blue and two shades of green. A paintbrush and some water. Okay, trace your circle sort of in the middle, maybe closer to the top of the paper and put that aside. And just so you know, I'm gonna speed the video up just a little bit so I can get all of this in and the video won't be too long. Next, take one of your green markers and make some shapes around your earth. They don't have to be exact. If you wanna look at a globe or a map of the continents, you can do that. I'm using my marker to make my lines a little more bold so they stand out. I'm just going over them a little bit. Next, I'm taking the other shade of green and I'm just drawing lines. I am not coloring in the space to be a solid color. I wanna leave a little bit of white because the magic trick at the end won't work if it's completely covered. Next, I'm gonna do the ocean. Before I do that though, I wanna outline my world just with that other marker to make it really bold and stand out. I'm also going around my land shapes. I'm going to use a spiral shape to make my water. Again, I'm not coloring it all in a solid color. I'm just making designs. You don't have to make spiral shape. You can make any shape that you wanted. The trick is just to leave a little bit of white so that when we paint in a little bit, you'll see the magic part. Take your other shade of blue, and then you can go back over those designs just to give it a little bit more interest. If you don't have two shades of blue or two shades of green, that's okay. And also, you might like a darker green or a lighter blue. It's totally up to you. Okay, now the fun part comes. And remember, this trick I'm about to show you will not work with permanent markers. You need to use washable markers in order for it to work. Take your paintbrush and dip it in some water and go over your lighter color first. For me, this is the land. Do you see how beautifully this paint, which is really not paint, it's marker, is blending into one another? So this is a really fun way to paint if you don't have any watercolors or anything like that around your house. Go over all of your land shapes and now you can see why we left some of the paper white. It almost gives a watercolor effect. So I'm doing that and now I'm going over my ocean. You just wanna um, blend and go over the same colors together because if I took my brush right now with the blue and I went into the land, it would make that color a different color. It would make it a blue. So paint your whole entire world just using water and a paintbrush. Any paintbrush will do. And I can go around the edge if I like. I kind of like how it looks really soft like that. So I'm going around my whole world outlining it with water. So I really hope you have fun with this trick. You can actually use it on anything that you want to paint. And now I want to show you something else. I actually painted with paint paint on this newspaper and I sort of added some words and the color red just to celebrate Earth Day. 
So I think on our world painting, I'm going to draw a heart and I'm going to do the same thing with my washable red marker this time. And I'm going to paint over my heart. And after I do that, I'm going to write the words, the earth. Now, if you want to do something like this on your watercolor world, you can certainly do that. If you just want to leave the world shape, maybe after it dries, you want to cut it out and put it on another piece of paper, you can do that too. But I thought this would just be really fun, especially to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. And I want to show you something else, guys. I have a third grader that used this technique for a cross, and he showed me his drawing after it was hung up on the window. Look how that sunlight is coming in so beautifully. Hope you had fun with this Earth Day project. I miss you, friends.